see if I can recall that way better, maybe even his residence, like I did for other people. He is over there now, and according to MK Ultra, when you see me, I'm gonna tell you exact words of his brainwash. I'm gonna pull them exactly. In fact, I'm gonna, uh, in fact, I will be there to make sure that you, you don't make a mistake in respect to this store. This store was all along here in 2005. There you go. The lady, again, she is an old employee that worked in the store, uh, not too far from library, I believe. It was a clothing store and she worked in that store. Old employee, a uh, cute girl. A little devil, I would say, rather. <laughs> Cute devil. Now she does her trick. I'll give you a business card, sir. The same signs are posted uh, on the store, on the doors. And a bow is a big sign. Uh, a bow sign was not there, but let's go and um, you know if i do this and what's gonna happen is it's gonna take me some time to load the audio but but let me do this anyways let me see this is 4122 and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you the store one more time so you can see it so i remind you because all along i cannot find in the memory this store but as i walk back and forth you know you make a mistake and this lies become more and more credible lies and eventually you come back like somebody would drag you and you make a mistake you know so that's why none of this lies they wanted me that that would look like i don't know what i'm talking about are really credible because i just am very hesitant about asking these people about what's going on okay so this is her store right here you see this street 52 moda moscom Nadjeva this is the sign up there that you see it was not there when they would do the mk ultra the sign let me see this thing here ah that's another one so look whatever that does have nothing to do with it that was not also was not there uh, but it was just like this it was just like this renovated in 2017 i can tell you that and it was just like this the sign street 52 on the doors and on the window when I would come and they would have me watch this thing and they would talk about this brand that is this kind of a brand that they always had this kind of brand that this is a good brand this sells very good this brand and this it was about the brand um, after two hours eventually or I don't know how long it took finally for this lie to encourage me and ask for the stupidity for the lie confirmation I returned back here and I asked her about if she was in 2005 and she does exactly as she told me she's gonna do under MK Ultra gives me a business card uh, then what she does is uh, she nicely touches my hand and takes the business card out uh, and treat me like uh, in a way like like uh, like you know like i would be like mentally retarded pun is pun is confused pun is pun is like like all the sound like like you know like da -da 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 -da, like from the movie something like this you know pun doesn't know and stuff like this <laughs> yeah you know and what i do instead is i thank you very much thank you very much and i go out and think from the public street i do have the right however to take the photo because the only thing i wanted to know was the brand name and this is how 100 percent again i was brainwashed that this is at least the company existed already for i don't know how long yeah this is how that's done folks Nie, ale to się, to się wcześniej. 
So she's doing some kind of transaction, this and that, and I'm still unsure. I walk back and forth, I do this. On the MK Ultra, about this store also, I was told it was not only this Amer uh, this Polish guy that had this American accent that he imitated American accent and American and stuff like that. The people that you hear inside of the store, he was not the only one. There were like two, three other people I remember that gestured how this is a great store, how everybody knows this store, how they are buying in this store already for how, I don't know how long and stuff like this. That's why you hear all this here. We were here before and the same thing you you have people all the time in this store it's all the time it's going on it's like very happy very happy everybody very good very happy with the store money flying this store here been since from forever this old customers old store is selling like this this is what they wanted this is like a old store this is done in a such a way, folks, that this is the guy I think you hear. Who imitated American and so on. Keep in mind that Americans that were here did learn Polish language. I asked her if it was in 2006. When I asked her this, she goes, No, no. No, no, I will not tell a gentleman. <laughs> uh, I asked if she is the owner of the place because she was a sales lady, like I said early in the that she worked in one of the stores. She did already in 2005, 2006. Yes. 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 Uh, it was a cigarette shop and this is the same thing like this is the same thing like in the shop where I was this alcohol shop they set up a clothing store for maybe a day or something like this to get me thinking when we were coming that this is actually a clothing shop and it was uh, also uh, they were also selling before ladies clothing used ladies clothing something like this uh, she now actually suggests that something to the to the gentleman is like this 
he doesn't he is mixed up okay so basically when somebody says stuff like this to you that's a little bit unpleasant um, try to play on the security issues and uh, I said uh, I said uh, pawn is okay it's nothing wrong with the pawn because I know what's going on but I tell her this in a such a way that you know how can I say I said oh pawn is okay pawn is okay uh, are you looking for someone no, no, no. I said no I say we were coming here from the US blah 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 and, and I'm just watching I just try to see what changed here in this game that's all Uh, sorry, uh, it, her store uh, not one year, her store only one month. <laughs> now I concentrate on the stuff I was brainwashed under MK Ultra on the brand, on this brand, but this is not only one month and this and that, or whatever. <laughs> Now I get completely in this world of lies. Now she's like, I don't understand what I'm listening to. Ah, but I'm joking. I, I, I say, I say, I'm sorry, I say. I am trying to learn better Polish. I apologize to you. Why am I asking about this company? I am asking about this company because, and I did not even check this on the internet whether it is or not. Uh, I am definitely certain that this company already existed before and now if she did in 2000 and let's say 15 when they started with this trick with this clothing trick with this kind of stuff uh, even if you would do this kind of stuff the name of your company when you use let's say your banners and stuff like this when you post them on the store uh, on the internet probably you would find out how old possibly uh, the company is because you can sort of prove that about the banners about this kind of stuff that this company eventually they existed before of course this is a lie the whole thing so I ask her about if there are some other stores, whatever. Okay, uh, you got to listen, you got to hear this again. This we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna repeat this stuff here. Um, uh, gets very serious with me, uh, looking at me very, very strangely and suggests after I told her nicely why I'm asking it, I would just like to see what change in this girl and stuff like this, uh, that she is asking me, I don't know, calm, 
uh, that we would set our conversation, I think it's what she's saying on some other time or something like this, and that we would end this now. And she also takes away from me business card. <laughs> that's that's how it that's the, that's that's how that's done. What I do is I don't go and argue with her or anything like this. I say no, I say very good. I say I just would like to know uh, if the store was here and so on and that. But since you are saying like this, thank you very much and bye bye. Goodbye, thank you very much, bye bye, that's it. Now I'm taking the video from the outside. I'm gonna make the recap right now. 14 stores were identified 100% all the way to 2003, 2004, 2005, and 2006. Uh, also some stores were identified to 2015. Um, and then what we have is one jewelry store where the owners were already in business for 20 years, but they have relocated to the location right in front of the police. Let's say identify the owners. I also know what apartment above them looks like on the inside, what was changed, what was renovated. I could tell what was renovated inside of the apartment, the wall. Um, I believe that's got something to do with the room that uh, in which I think the wall was removed or something like this and the room was enlarged, something like that, but I'm not really certain. I would have to see inside, so I would see it. Um, we have another store that I have, I was just inside. I have explained that I know the gentleman who was inside, I know where he lives. The lady that I have just spoken to is another sales lady that works in this City already is Gersh as a sales lady for at least like 20 years, something like this. Uh, let's say, uh, let's not let's not go too much. Uh, let's say since 2006, something like that. Um, we have yet another store that was a store with animal food inside and was changed maybe in 2017, 2015 into alcohol shop. Uh, that's also something I can tell you that was uh, animal food that was sold inside of the store. And the wall that I have suggested have changed um, is actually just a wall that was finally nicely painted with a white color that gave the place positive thing. It's also the wall that I'm pretty damn sure uh, before did not exist because it was not clean in this in this pet store. They did not keep this store clean. It smelled not good. It was not a place I had I, I, there too under MK Ultra. Uh, and we have another store that uh, there are two stores that that one opened in 2015 and the store the same brand, the same store, the same owner opened another one across the street uh, just a month ago. So basically a month ago store one uh, for which scenario I have recognized the store I was in also month old. Um, so we have basically three stores like this, four stores like this, for which at least I can say I can claim at least 50% because I did not recognize them immediately. I couldn't find them in a memory for one thing and because of the information I have given. So at least I knew about um, about the people who worked in there. I knew about 
for that one I knew the opposite scenario of how I was light, how the store was created and stuff like this. Maybe I can give myself 50% at least. Definitely I suggest that something wrong with those stores. I definitely suggest completely the opposite of 14 other stores which I have immediately identified as 100% correct. Um, I would call those as neutral, definitely. Psychologists would confirm that uh, I did detect it, that something was just not there with those stores. Um, although I have not identified them correct because of the stuff like this, but this is the situation. So 14 correct, and then we have four stores like that. Let's continue with this. I'm at the bank now. I am at the bank now. This is this was the building that was a shame to the city. Uh, this building looked very, very, very inappropriately. It looked like old building in Eastern Europe, like very unpresentable building. But I recall when the building was rebuilt and I also know with 100% certainty because it was ever since that I finally pay attention to one when subject to MK Ultra, finally it was ever since because there was some uh, renovation that was done not only on the outside but I also remember, I also recall what was changed on the inside as I'm inside of the building, I clearly remember that this was a bank. And as I'm asking about the renovation, I set the correct date. And I also ask about, uh, I also say that uh, I'm not, I'm also stating that since the building was renovated, they are uh, inside of this building as a bank. Uh, now, the only ma mistake I make in this case is that these people already in this bank are already, I don't know, 50 years. And like I said, when the building was not renovated, the building looked like a crap. Uh, when you would go inside this building, you would not have idea you go to the bank because it was so unpresentable. It was horrific. The, the building was just crap. I mean, it was a building, very unpresentable building. And once they re uh, rebuilt the building, it gave you impression from the outside that it's like a brand new building that was built out of nothing. And that's when I finally started to pay attention to it. And it was finally, what is inside of this building? It's a bank. Huh? Don't, did, did you forget? Well, it's a little bit difficult to remember like this. I mean, when you are in the store, like a pet store, that looks like a sponsor tree, like a food store, alcohol store, uh, uh, but inside is stinking uh, and it's actually a pet shop and it's a bank that looks like old building that looks like a building that is a crap building that should be actually demoluted. Uh, instead, uh, you cannot believe there is a bank in there. You see, this is the stuff that these people under MK Ultra just could not consider. They just could not understand why I think like this. But this is a logical stuff. I'm asking for 2010. Boy, am I stupid, eh?
you know, basically I'm asking for the date of renovation, which is really, really stupid. Okay, they tell me they are already here 50 years. Uh, actually, they direct me to uh, somebody else over there I should talk to. I'm asking for the director over there. Okay, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, the building was rebuilt, renovated in 2005, but you can hear me saying that uh, the business, your business, uh, you could hear me saying that um, they were inside already since the building since the building was renovated. So in my head was that the building was renovated in 2010, but it was renovated in 2005. At least I got the credit for 2010, but whether the building was renovated in 2005, 2010, one way or the other, I pointed out that they are inside of this building since the building renovated. So whether you want to give me credit here for 2005, 2010, that's up to you. I knew, however, that they are inside of the building since the building renovated. Since the building renovated was in my head that this really was a bank, finally. This is how I saw it under MK Ultra. <laughs> What what am I what am I wait a minute what what okay. let me hear this again Yes, 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 very good, very good, very good, very good, yes, 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 yes. She says, she says, I asked her if the building was rebuilt in 2010, because I know there was a bank, these are a very nice people, these are a beautiful people that wanted to help me out, there also was a renovation done on the inside, also, I'm going to go and try to find out, identify what was changed inside too, and ask them about that too. It was not much done on the inside, but it was done also on the inside. And I remember what was done on the inside. These people, when they did the renovation of this building, this were one of the first people who wanted to help me out. Basically, all these people here, all these people, all these people in Zgurj, this, this is why. They wanted to help me out. You know, these people were motivated in these people were motivated in helping me out one way or the other. Just really, really beautiful people. Really beautiful people. Now when I walked inside it was like officially and dra la 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 la. But it's not like this. When I needed them, when I was around with Americans and so on, these people showed their real soul to me. And I can tell you only one thing that behind the facade, behind the facade, this official facade that I have encountered this time, there are some really beautiful souls inside in there. Uh, these people were motivated and nothing else than motivated in helping me out. When they did the renovation, they had me inside, they showed me what also changed and so on. 
this is the way it is okay and so i ask uh the lady tells me i ask her if the building was renovated in 2010 uh if it was uh i ask her if they're here since 2010 when the building was renovated in 2010 this is in my head so she said building was renovated in 2005 oh i said in 2005 okay so then in that case you have been here already since 2005 so now you have to like it or not you have to give me another credit for 2005 boom And the lady says, we are here already, I don't know for how long. This is just the way it is. So I got 100% this one. So this would be already number 15, 100%, and this one goes all the way to 2005. And like I said, I can also give information. I already gave that building was renovated. Not not uh, that they would build one new because it looks like a completely new building but this is a renovated building Was your bank already in 2010? She wants me to go to the director to talk to, to another person. She doesn't know. Talking to the director. Okay, uh, that's a problem. That is a problem. I think she said since 1953. I think she said in Polish, but I'm not sure. I gotta hear this again. Uh, yeah, so that does not help. Uh, I asked for 2010, I guess, at least 2010. This was very bad. This I could give myself a whole a lot of credits more, but no. No, the, uh, it really, um, it's not going to help me out. I think she said 1953 or whatever. What she is saying in Polish, I don't even understand what she is saying in Polish. I don't understand what she is saying at all. 
I asked her about when the when the bank was rebuilt when have they renovated the bank basically and I don't know what she is saying honestly it's too damn bad you know what's too damn bad because I don't even know if she, uh, I ask her how old your bank is I asked for 2010 then I asked her for um, she just doesn't answer the questions and then I ask her how old is your bank and then she answers and she says something I don't even understand what she's saying you know then I get to 2005 whatever whatever you make out of it at least I got 2010 and I can tell you that the building was not built new in 2010 or 2005 after she repairs me 2005 but was rebuilt I know this and I also know on the inside even if it looks like it's like brand new building <laughs> catastrophic stuff like this and by the way she says this in such a way so that I don't even understand what she's saying I mean this is not only answering not whatever I'm confused I go out okay 2010 and so on this is a hundred percent but this could be way better no it's not correct answer if it's not a correct answer if she gave me the answer prior to my asking her uh, if she gave me the, the the answer that it was in the 50s it's not a correct answer but I'm gonna ask a Polish person to tell me what exactly she's saying and according to that I'm gonna see if I can give myself credit all the way to 2005 otherwise it's gonna be just 2010 that's all my Polish is just not good enough I'm now in the street where I should not even go to according to the Russians because this is the street that is by the way this was the 15 100% correct uh, in this street according to the Russians this these are the stores we do not know these are new stores this was in 2017 this is the street you don't go except the except the um, Tsukyarna except the bakery shop on the corner everything else here in this in this street is so new I go in the street and the first thing I look at the store and I look at how the products are written down and I immediately recognize the owner uh, his style of writing the price on the products on the cigarette products he also sell he, he would also sell the MKR staff members play cards and stuff like this 
I was unmistakably in front of the gentleman who wanted to help me big time, like everybody else. Uh, I know exactly what I am. I know his writing style. This gentleman was simply eager to help me. When I was there, this was one of the people that deliberately said, I'm going to put the price, continue to put the price like this. And he had a very specific, the only person in the city, the, one of the first people in Zgersh that you could not see anywhere in Zgersh. People would not go out there and put the price on the products at all. This was the first gentleman who had, according to my taste, the store. This was the first gentleman in the Zgersh who would eventually go and would put a beautiful number on a paper uh, below his product that would indicate uh, how it was written, uh, the price. And for me, under MK Ultra, this was very, very appealing because I have always hated the stores. Uh, in the US, I had my own store. Uh, and I didn't like when my ex-wife, she would go and she would... There was no price anywhere. There was no price. And I hated this kind of a... To me, it was stupid that people watch something inside of the... Um, vitrina in a in a showcase that they don't even know the price this was how she used to sell but at one time in miami folks there were so many tourists from south america that it was not about the price because it was plenty money it used to be time when in south america the money was like leaves on the trees seriously people would come and they would just they didn't ask for the price. They would say this, 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 total how much, bye-bye. They were too lazy to even ask for the price. This is how it was. And those days went by when I met my ex-wife. And so the first thing I wanted to change inside of her store was I wanted to put exactly the way uh, this gentleman had to. I wanted to put, I want to have everywhere price with the price and get buyers get the business going with a price so the people can see there is a good price there's no cheating uh, this was the way uh, and the only person in this gersh that would have like this was this gentleman or if you would go to i don't know no actually by then there was no big stores like this yet this was the only gentleman who had the only store that had the price like this was at this gentleman and he still kept his old style uh, to the day i came inside of the store he i recognize him he recognized me too i was with americans here we would come here and this gentleman was eager to help me out <laughs> I am idiot. This he was already in 2004, 2003. I don't want to make a risk. 2005, I go. Whatever. You are the owner, sir. Obviously, I am released because this isn't this isn't this isn't what the Russians said in this street. The case would be that this is the street we don't go inside, and there these are new shops we don't know. Nah. In the whole Zgersh, I tell him, it was only your shop that have price on the products. No other shop was like your shop. I recognize him. Already back then, in 2004, 2005. Um, you know, if you would go through something I did for 17 years, 
And then you would just have somebody doing the stuff like this to you, discouraging you and lying you and try to frustrate you, and try to make you angry and using even the police as a pretext and all kinds of stuff like this. You would not be happy about it either. Believe me, you would feel the same as I did. Of course, I understand now, but the first impre impressions are very unpleasant. Now he knows I am the one. Now he knows. Now he remembers me under MK Ultra. He remembers my words from MK Ultra, which are now repeated to him. And he was under MK Ultra uh, when they brought me always to his store. I was when I when I saw his the way he put the product, the price. And he would go, yes, he would go, because I have always indicated him that uh, no matter what, I recognize his style of writing the, the price. <laughs> he had the Zippo, uh, not the Zippo, but he had the lighters. That's what they would buy. They would buy themselves cigarettes and stuff like that. It looks like a Zippo. He gives me a green light about Americans that were here. He does remember me. First he said no, but then he says yes. The audio recording about this, the whole thing unedited already was posted on the internet. So I thank him very much and I go to the store right next to it was the same time, the same 2004. I asked for 2005, 2006, I get a green light, next one, and so on. This is a 16 store already identified, all the way to 2005, 100%, 16. For neutral, if you like, and 16 stores, 100%. Uh, this was another store where I have asked for 2005 2006 this store is right next to the gentleman I get a green line this is already green light yes uh, this is always was the store they would sell fruits and stuff like that 100% this is already 17th store identified 100% next one
dobry. Dzień dobry. Eee, tylko bym chciał widzieć. Co to? A, tylko bym chciał widzieć ten skład święty. A nie, to jest, jest napisem komendy ten świat. Co to w internecie jest? No, no, no. This gentleman was there, he was here already 100 years. He's talking about that he's got another store over there. But no, no. He, even that he had another store on another location, whatever, and so on. I know this gentleman was 100 years already in this very same spot. He alone worked in this place. This is the street that you would turn inside. Ah, this is a little bit like side street on the side street. But I remember him, he was here already since from forever. I don't even go into this. Ah, you're gonna understand that I know what I'm talking about. I wish him another hundred years of his business. The he's got over there by the police, the he's got a store. The he's got a store, he, he, he tells me that he's got a store by the police. No. Yeah, the he's got a, yeah, yeah, the he's got a scrap over there. Uh, Jubilee, jewelry shop right in front of the police where I was. He's got a special, according to the order, uh, he would do the job for you, like if you have a special um, Kravetsky, it's a... Uh, uh, Kravetsky, um, tailor business, according to the order, to the special orders, custom tailoring, if you like, in English. Um, I correct him that he is already here 100 years, uh, he always was here, this gentleman was here in 2003, 2004, 2005, this is his shop, might have another shop, but this was his location no matter what. Okay, uh, I don't even ask him about whether he was there in 2005, 2004, 2003. Um, what was it? 16, this is the 17th business 100% 2003 2004 I go 2003 I go identified yeah this gentleman was in 2003 right where he is right now instead of that what I say to him I, I wish you another hundred years of custom tailoring good health is what I wish you and he is laughing uh, he knows, he knows me, and I am going to come back and see if I can get more recognitions like we remember you, because you guys all remember me very well. Um, there is no need for me to ask this, I can just write myself a credit. Next one. He is laughing and we go apart. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I asked him if you were there in 2005, he said yes. Yes and goodbye, bye bye. He asked me where are you from, Slovenia, bravo Slovenia and so on. And we go next one. 17 identified, 100% next.
He loves his business, by the way. He lives for his business. All these people do live for their businesses. They love coming here and meeting people and so on. Americans created a good culture here in Zgersh. I like that. <laughs> now I am in the shop. This is a cutie that Russians suggested me. Uh, is a Russian. Don't you don't you see her? Looks like a Russian. Okay, I don't really. I don't know whether she looks like a Russian or she doesn't look like a Russian, <laughs> but uh, that was a beautiful, beautiful trickster behind this one here. In this store, they have imitated the psychologists I'm interested in. And what they would do is they would go and they would, if you, yoy, this was a manipulation. You see the bear, the teddy bear over there. He's got the beautiful medals. He's going to have a medals. And you're going to do all the stores. And you're going to come to this store. And if you can identify this one all the way to 2004, 2005, I'm going to give you a, such a kiss. This was the story, folks. And the teddy bear is really beautiful. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me go and let me show you the teddy bear. And so you can understand what kind of manipulation this is. And I was brought in and back in the store, brought in and back in the store. Um, the lady, the sales lady, I don't ask this her in this video, on this audio. But she also was a sales lady that worked on another location already for a very long time in Zgirsh. So this is a such a... Um, this is a, such a mush, they can do it. Uh, they can get you like this in, 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 in one million and one way. Uh, and she dressed herself uh, sexy, according to my taste. Oh, the Ruskis also studied how, what is it exactly that I like about the women. And I am a very, very specific person. And they have gone as far as, yes, they would profile me under MK Ultra, which ladies, what is it that appeals to you? And even maybe what the ladies should use uh, to trigger in me, you know, brainwash that, yes, this store was here for a long time and this and that. They have used... All right, I am not going to say what exactly that she exposed this time uh, with idea that they would get me. Uh, everybody does not have to know about that. But it's a very specific trick. I am not going to say they have used again besides the teddy bear that's supposed to make me ask if it, the store was open in 2004-2005. Uh, this is store that you're going to see next to other stores. They were all open in 2005. So this is the store right in between them. It's a tricky trickster. You have the whole line of stores in 2005-2004 and you have this one here. You're going to see, I'm going to identify 100%. Uh, but this is done with a, such a precision that it would be very difficult not to wreck yourself about. Uh, let me show you a teddy bear so you can see how the teddy bear tried to get me. This is what you, what you saw the first when you go inside of the store. You see this beautiful teddy bear with the medals. 